going on everybody, this is the Game Hunter channel with a new episode of Spirit Lord, The Adventures of Cass the Barbarian. And as you can see on the screen, message of the day, there is a community event, okay, and it's for a limited time, so I, got, I would recommend you to go and take care of this. If you don't know what, what I'm talking about, I'll show you right now, because uh, there is a new event when we can, we need to beat a boss mosque in order to get pieces for a really really cool blood leaf armor okay this item is only gonna be available during this event so you need to go and do this uh this event now okay it's this i believe these events are not gonna come back so once that you if you didn't have a chance to participate well better luck next time okay <laughs> because you won't be able to get these items again all right so let's see what we need to do we need to find a dungeon a, a secret dungeon i think it's located close close to the arborlish overworld so we're gonna look for that okay then we need to first complete the four dungeons on any level of difficulty in order to collect the natural shards okay once that we have that we're gonna be able to access the fifth the fifth dungeon the raging goods and it's time to fight and defeat the boss mosque in order to get pieces for this amazing blood leaf armor. Ugh, I'm getting ready for this. Okay, I already went through the first four dungeons. Yes, I think I think I'm already finished the four dungeons. So let's three. Let's see. I, I'm not. I'm not sure what I need to do now. I'm, I'm not sure if I need to combine something or anything. But um, we're definitely gonna find out that together. All right. So before we start, let me show you real quick. Two little things. Number one, guild, 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 guild. So important. As soon as you can join a guild, because remember that I told you about the guild rewards. Yes, if you're part of the guild and your guild start gaining some experience. Okay, let me remove this uh, first. Okay, so if you start getting some guild rewards, look at that. For example, if we if we have the guild level one, we can in increase the spirit and item sell value by 5%. And level two increases the spirit XP gain by 5%. And you can see all those check marks on the right side, okay? That means that my guild already has those rewards. And those rewards are for everybody who is part of my guild, okay? Right now, unfortunately, I think the Team Hunter guild is full. Or maybe you have, I think we have room for one more, okay? So if you're watching the video, you want to join me in this adventure in Spirit Lords, join me right now, okay? And right now, we we're really close to get to level six, which is going to increase the spirit and item sell value by five percent. Wow! And again, so important to join a, a guild and get these guild rewards and bonuses. Okay, really, really important. Second part I want to show you in this video, real quick, before we go to the to the dungeon, is uh, well, I don't see any. Okay, right here, you see those marks on this, the on the screen, the X. Okay, that means that is probably a hidden treasure over there so let's go over there let's travel okay actually you didn't pay attention to I told you to travel to over there go no you want to travel really oh because it's not open yeah it's not available yet see the vex ruins are not available yet okay so you see the mark on the floor yes those are hidden treasures that you need to unbury look at that see so these treasures are around the map and they're I think they regenerate every hour or something like that so always look for this always look for this right now I'm already collect all the treasures in the map and they're gonna start showing up again on my map in the next minute and 23 seconds so that is a really cool way in order to get a uh, resources I mean, it could be resources, it could be some moonstones, it could be a lot of things. So, definitely, definitely something that you need to keep in mind, okay? Uh, the other thing, before we get into this uh, dungeon, which is probably over here, and I'm sure a lot of people are in the area, because they're all trying to finish. Remember, the this dungeon is only going to be... this. Let me rephrase that. The community event is going to be available only for four more days. So, if you love, you don't have enough time to get the the armor now unfortunately you won't be able to get it again so do it when you can all right so i'm going to show you something real quick spirit we're going to continue learning about spirit okay uh remember the previous episode we were talking about a uh, power up and evolve some spirit yes that is one of the things that i need to keep doing because otherwise you're going to collect so many and <laughs> your spirit collection it's gonna be completely full in a few days, okay? So that's why it's so important to uh, evolve and power up 
your spirit as soon as possible okay what is the best way to power up a, a spirit is using a spirit of the same kind okay that's gonna give you an extra bonus so for example right now I would love to upgrade my uh, red chameleon so let me go here and I'll show you right now okay the red chameleon is right now level 5 okay I'm trying to evolve this one to the next level to the burning chimera but I can't even when I already have the burning spark I need to upgrade the red chameleon to level 10 which is a maximum okay so how are we gonna do that let's power up this guy and I believe yes I believe look at that I got one of these fulminating rubies. this is remember these are power-ups material so that's really really important when you get these guys use them wisely they're so powerful all right so we can use this one and look at the fit power 10,000 we can definitely get this uh, red camellia to the maximum level so we're gonna use it for a minute look at that maximum level right away power up 500 in gold and here we are red camellia maximum level 10 nice and now we are ready to the evolution part cool all right so now we you see evolution requirements we're really good to go so now we can start and evolve our red camellia of course every time that you evolve your your spirit they're more powerful they do more damage and everything so that's so important to keep evolving we see right now i'm so close to get the fury uh changer bringer no nice nice can't wait to get this one and i already have the, the materials the move and the burning spark the only thing is that i need to continue upgrading my burning chimera right now it's level one okay so i need to get this one to level 10 <laughs> in order to give a shot and evolve this spirit one more time perfect this is right now we are in better better shape and i think i can actually evolve something else if i'm not wrong let me go back to the spirit area spirits show up spirits okay um and remember you, you as you can see, I got different kind of groovings. Some are for nature, some others are for. This is just a regular one, a plane that you can use it for any 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 kind of uh, material. This is the frigid, and I think I got these ones. Yeah, the desolates. Nice. There are two kind of groovings. They got the maximum, the big ones, which are this one, and we got also the mini versions, which is also good. It's gonna allow you to increase the power, but of course the fit power is not as good as the big ones, the groovings, okay? Uh, what else? I think I can evolve something else. Can I evolve something else? I definitely need to start evolving stuff because I'm running out of space one more time. And the, goal, the whole idea is to create spirit set of different uh, elements. Why? Because some dungeons are gonna be weakened to some specific, specific um, material, okay? Uh, I'm gonna probably show you the next episode, but you can I, you can probably understand this really quick. For example, if uh, if um, if one of the, the dungeons is nature, like this one that we're gonna attack now, what could be the best spirit to use? Fire, right? Because fire overpower nature. If it's a if it's a fire one, I can use some frigid or water in order to overcome fire right it makes complete sense yes these, these are the elements again in the next one i'm gonna post probably a chart so you can understand how the elements work and which one are more powerful than the others all right so let's get into this definitely we're gonna go through this uh, combination of spirits because it's mostly fire and these dungeons are mostly oh what do we need to do in here hold on for healing cannot be one two three four um Okay, I need to probably go to the Forbidden Canopy. I think I did this one. I'm not sure. Do I need to combine something? Let me see. Did I? Am, am I missing something in here? Yeah, I got a ticket in here that I don't want to lose. Okay, let me get this one. And get this relic. Come on, I'm already... Come on, I'm already pulled there. And what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Something good? Nice. A red. A green chameleon. Okay, and I got a couple of those, so definitely it's important. Now, um, let me see. Let me see, because I need to be able to access the next one. How are we going to do that? I can probably get to the arranging goods. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, because the requirement is 120 of these um, nature charts. 
And I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Let me see. I think I'm okay. Let me double check the requirements. A hundred. Um, yes. Let me go back in this one. If I go to this one. Oh yeah. Okay. So, have you noticed in this uh, forbidden canopy, right? The requirements to get in here is five energy, right? Right now we have. Uh, I got eight, so I shouldn't have any problem to go there. And the length of this uh, dungeon is really short. But, but now that I'm already collecting, I'm, I have been doing this, collecting some of these natural shards in order to unlock the level five. Of the dungeon, the raging woods. So we can now go here and look at the. It's gonna require 120 of those charts in order for me to get here and access this dungeon. Okay. Right now, 16 because I changed the difficulty. And now we can. This is a chance for us. Guarantee blood leaf armor randomly. Rarity. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. So um, we going with the weakness of this dungeon is fire, and we have four spirit with fire. So we're definitely gonna use this one. And he said, yeah, it's a good chance to succeed. So definitely ready. I think we're ready to go. Let's get into this one. The Raging Woods. This is the fifth dungeon of this special event. And probably we need to fight this nature boss mosque. Probably it's a really tough dude. So <laughs> we better be careful. All right. Cast the Barbarian. This is the moment of truth. When you need to show how powerful you are. All right, so we're using the totem. Uh, yes, the ultimate. I th okay, this is my new directional, which I like it. The, that cone of fire is so powerful. The only issue is that uh, uh, the range. The range is not that great. Okay, let's see if we can take care of these guys. Nice. Now that we're using the fire spirit, we can take care of these enemies without any problem. Well. Probably these guys are gonna be trouble, so let's see if we can Oh come on get closer guys come on Come on Ugh. see that's the only problem my new fire spirit is really powerful but that cone the range of that cone is not the best Alright let's see what this boss is Don't hide and show up yourself my friend because we are ready to roll okay now we can probably use the cone yeah, Woo you see, extreme, extremely powerful. That's why you need to get to learn which spirit you should use in each of the dungeons. All right, perfect. All right, let's see. he's hoping this lever. Oh boy, this is definitely not good. I'm gonna probably get in this area and call my. Oh, I was hoping this guy's gonna go. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Sorry, fellas. We're using the power of fire in your nature dungeon, so you don't have any chances now. <laughs> but I don't know how powerful is there. Oh, let me see the inventory. Do we have something new? No. Oh, yeah, this is the weapon that I'm using right now. Is that the one? Yeah, the weighted mace. Oh, hold on. Where are you going? 70, 72 damage, armor penetration 120, critical chance 46, and attack rate 48. Perfect. I love it. I love it. So we're definitely going to continue using this one. And uh, even when I can remove my awesome Skyrim helmet, we're going to just keep it. All right. Let's get into this. Uh, did, I, did I pull the level? I think I did. No. Oh, boy. We're getting close. I can't wait for the boss battle message. It's going to show up at any second, I'm sure. Oh. Alright, let's go over here and try to take care of these guys first. Oh, we didn't aim correctly, but uh, <laughs> we still were able to take care of this guy. No? Don't? Salamander was actually really funny. And, uh, ooh! Oh, no, no, no! The range wasn't good enough, but I really need to get close to you, my friend. Otherwise, you're gonna kill me in two seconds. And you stop doing that for this. Okay, be nice. There's some poison, but I guess yeah. Okay, we're not we're not losing life anymore. But I, I don't like the fact that we are almost 800 in life left. Even gonna fight this strong boss because I'm not sure we're gonna be able to beat him. But let's give it a shot. All right. Um, do we have everything? I'm a looting machine. Okay, I have to open and destroy every urn on the map. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you better get used to that because Cast the Barbarian doesn't 
he doesn't leave loot behind at all ever okay let's move a little bit here perfect perfect the faster we destroy these enemies the less life we're gonna lose actually we recover some life in this one perfect I got a feeling we're getting close to our opponent ooh this is not gonna be funny okay we're gonna go here put the totem and then we're gonna use a special comb with this guy boom sorry my friend see it's all about the elements control the elements get to know the elements of your spirits and you should be in good shape okay this is this looks like a boss battle boss ahead okay definitely this is not gonna be good definitely not good let's see if i can get the minions to follow me first I'm trying to get my totem charge first oh from aiming the boss is not here yet so def oh no no, no. It, it is hanging around what is it i don't know Oh, look at that. I can see the marks on the on the floor. Is that the guy? See? Yeah, it's over here. Oh, no, it's over there. Ooh. Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. We almost... Oh, we're dying right now. That is definitely not good. Definitely not good. How are we going to do this? We need to avoid all those crazy marks on the screen. Ooh. No. We're going down big time. Wow. And I think I'm burning now, so... We can use the special ultimate so I can recover my hit points for a few. No, let's get out of there. No, get out of there. Get out of there, please. This is not funny. This guy is too powerful. Well, that's why it's a special event, right? It's, it has to be difficult. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely. Out of here, out of here, out of here. Wow, this guy is not even close to get defeated. So, let me use the totem. Hopefully we'll be able to get this guy close over here. Ooh, I run away. Wow, it's gonna take me forever if I do it this way, right? But unfortunately, um, I need to stay away from this mosque boss as much as I can. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. This is not good. Definitely need to upgrade my spirits a little bit more if I'm gonna fight this guy. Definitely need to do that. Um, let me see, where are you? Oh, wow. Yeah, I gotta be careful. You saw those marks on the, on the floor? Yes. Yes, that means that we are in definitely, definitely big trouble. Wow, I need to upgrade my spirit even more, you know, to beat this guy. Well, that can have gone better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All items and XP collected will be lost. Ooh, really? Ouch. All right, let's revive. Let's see what we can revive in here. There you go. Back to life, and uh, I don't know if it was a wise idea because we're already losing life. Dang. That is definitely not good. This guy is powerful. Okay, we're gonna put the totem in there. Trying to run away. Did he any damage? No, probably not, of course. Ooh. So we can attack this guy from behind. Perfect. He's immune to the leap, so. There's no point for me to keep doing that. So I can avoid that damage. In the floor. Wow, okay, this is definitely not good. Definitely not good. This guy is extremely, extremely powerful. I guess we're gonna be continuing this battle for a couple. Ooh, let me see if I can put the totem in there. The totem is gonna help me. Well, almost nothing. <laughs> almost nothing. Come on, get closer. Get closer and fight me. Fight me, you mosque. Oh, nice. That was it. <laughs> Wasn't impressive at all. All right, we gotta be careful. Those marks on the floor one more time. I need to avoid them. Otherwise, I'm gonna receive some damage. Let's see if we can get it one more time with my special attack. Bear. Oh, you know what? I think that's a strategy that we can use. Well, we definitely need to run away because those, again, those guys are killing me. Okay, we're gonna get one more time closer. Little by little. Not too much. I'm gonna put the totem. Okay, and now we're gonna use the special attack. Perfect. Okay, I think we can keep doing this. You know, to can keep the boss under control. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's not get too crazy. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Ah, big mistake. We can't make this kind of mistake in this one. Okay, we're getting close. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there is a some. 
Oh, Hellbar. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get. Okay, so it's not that difficult. Problem is, you need to work with the timing. And uh, for a barbarian, well, that is trouble because you definitely need to get closer in order to fight this mosk, the lizard titan. Wow, okay, we definitely need to jump and get out of here. Because otherwise, we're gonna start losing life one more time. Um, Alright, my friend. Come over here. I got a surprise for you waiting. And it's getting fully charged. You're getting close. Nice. Okay. Definitely that was a good strategy. Okay. So you're having trouble beating this uh, boss. I would definitely recommend you to do this strategy. Hit and run, as always. Hit and run. Use the directional attack. Use the leap to run away and stay out of trouble. And that is definitely something that we have to do in order to beat this guy because he's really powerful. Oh, okay. Be careful with those marks on the floor because they can kill you in two seconds. All right. Frame. Get closer. You look scary, but we're not afraid anymore. We're not afraid anymore. We know how to beat you. Oh, okay. I'm losing life, so better stay quiet for a few. Okay. Follow me. I got something for you. I got something for you, my friend. Almost, almost, almost. It's so close. This is so close. So we got the strategy to beat this guy. Now, no, we need to be able to do it. Oh, nice. We can attack from behind. More than enough. Nice. Wow. That was that was a really tough boss. Now, but now that we got the strategy, okay. Now that we find out the way to beat you using the special abilities of the barbarian. That was a lot more easy, right? The first time, okay, of course, I died in two seconds because I was trying to figure it out how to beat this guy. But the second try was a lot easier, right? Using the totem to weak this guy and also using the directional attack. That's probably all I needed. But remember, if the level of my directional attack is not high, if that spirit is not powerful enough, well, things are gonna get tougher. It's gonna take a lot more time to defeat this boss. Nice, okay, let's see which part of the of the armor we got. Got some gold, which I appreciate. And remember, this event is gonna run out really soon, so stay tuned. Um trying to do this as fast as you can. What do we have? What do we have? Whoa, the woodkeeper! Nice! Whoa, this guy looks sick! With a barbarian weapon with the strain of earth causing it to deal an additional damage per attack instant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is crazy powerful! That is crazy powerful. And what is the piece? No, it's crazy. You have received a blood leaf helmet, but of course, the, well, the level of my helmet is higher, and the rarity of the items is random, so that's okay. I'll take it anyway because I still want to. Have the whole all the pieces of this special armor, so we can definitely, definitely gonna go back and definitely need to go back and get it done. Let me see, where is this? Well, right now it's it's a common, it's a common a piece of armor. It could be better if I got more like an epic version, not just the common one. But it's still good enough, right? Still really good, and I'm still gonna collect this no matter what. So let me sell a couple items. I'm gonna sell this and this for now. Perfect. And we have plenty of space in our inventory. Cool! Wow! Alright. Don't forget, get to the this special event dungeon and get it done as soon as possible because time is gonna run out very fast. Okay? Guys, this is the Gang Hunter. This is Cass, the Barbarian, signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.